Every third person in the world today is a child under the age of 18. And in some continents, like Africa, every second person is under 18. So anyone talking about sustainability must include these facts in the planning. Because if we don't, well, look at what's happening in the world today. There must be a better way. The Global Child Forum, founded in 2009 by the Royal Family, is a multi-stakeholder platform engaged in shaping the regional and global agenda to improve the lives of children today and tomorrow. Our hope is that we together will spend an effective day of inspiration, innovation and dynamic sharing experiences. To have a sustainable world, the future children's agenda should actually include the right to be born healthy. The Global Child Forum brings together thinkers and doers from business, government, academia and civil society to create partnerships to solve some of the most pressing issues facing children today. It's not easy changing a corporate culture and that a lot of companies don't yet understand their responsibilities in relation to children's rights. All credit to uh, uh, His Majesty and Her Majesty for encouraging this to be a very frank discussion. The Global Child Forum is about inspiration, networking, knowledge sharing and fact-based research. And it also strives to create vital connections between and among the private and public sectors. The Children's Rights Business Atlas is a joint collaboration between the Global Child Forum and UNICEF. It is a first of its kind online assessment tool for anyone to use. It's free and it's mostly designed for businesses, but it's for use by researchers, civil society organizations, anyone can access it. At the first ever Global Child Forum to be held... The Global Child Forum has held regional events around the world. Recent forums on the Middle East and North Africa and on Southern Africa captured the attention of the press. Quite an impressive lineup of speakers and delegates attending today's meeting. And obviously keen participation coming through from business, from government, from civil society and other organizations. Everyone has the responsibility to raise our children to be free citizens of the world, free from violence in all shapes, and to be self-dependent people. It shows how important it is that you discuss that you listen, that you learn about children's rights. So it should not only be on the paper. We want really that to see it implemented everywhere. We've seen change, we know it can happen, and with businesses coming on board, I think that we can accelerate the pace. The Global Child Forum is playing a unique role as the unique convener in the world to say, let's take the rights of the child seriously, let's make sure that they are honored. These children, when they see what's happening in the world, they will ask the question to the parents, to you and to me and to others and say, what have you done? Where do we come into all this? And we better be sure we have a good answer in the future. When I see all of you gathered here today, so many of you representing strong and important businesses, I think of Pippi Longstocking. Pippi's philosophy is that the stronger you are, the kinder you have to be. In your strength, I see an enormous potential for kindness. Imagine the positive impact you all can do. Let us show the world's children that we're not just here to talk, but to share and to work. Let us show with action that this is possible. Thank you.